What are you guys looking at? Uh, what's, what's, what's going on here? What's, what's going on, guys? So, uh, welcome back, guys. Frozen Titan here. And we're back in the Let's Play world. And we're looking at the behavior of some zombies here. Uh, they're tracking a villager that's inside of this building. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Gives us the ability to work outside uh, during the nighttime. Threw down some torches in the nearby area. And uh, today we're going to begin our village beautification process. And to do that, we're going to start off by making a little park area. And where's the best place to do it? But right across the street from where we are. Because uh, we want to be in the nice part, part of town. Uh, we don't want to be in the bad part of town, which apparently is right here. Uh, all the riffraff with their untucked shirts. You see them? See their untucked shirts? Can't even believe it. Those riffraff. Uh, so, we're gonna go ahead and uh, clear out a little bit of land. Uh, we're probably just gonna make a little park type area. And that's just gonna be uh, a little pond, some benches. Uh, we're just gonna level this land out. We might do something a little nicer over here uh, in a little bit, but for right now we're just going to leave it as is. Uh, thankfully it's starting to get daytime, which is great. kind of sick of it being dark outside and all those zombies. Maybe we can go watch them burn in a second. Uh, that might be a little bit fun. Uh, everyone wa likes to watch zombies burn. It's pretty satisfying. Uh, get a lot of rotten flesh from it, so I'm hoping one of these villagers uh, unlocks a rotten flesh trade. That would just be great. So I don't want it exactly across, uh, just to get resist symmetry, resist symmetry a little bit. And uh, just gonna get a few things in my inventory here. Gonna work with the gravel, obviously, and then I want to include these a little bit, uh, just to make it look a little bit nicer. Oh, we're watching them burn. Yeah. And we got a bat over there. Wow. You guys are so loud. My gosh. They're picking up the remnants of their fallen comrades. So sad. So sad. But yeah, we're just gonna keep doing this and then uh, probably expand it out a little bit. Uh, just gonna kinda try and make this a little bit random. Give it a nice feel at the same time too. And then we're just gonna start to expand it out a little bit and try and get kind of like a circular path going on. Uh, we'll see if we can accomplish that fairly well. So. But yeah, this is gonna be kind of the general shape of it um, with a little pond in the middle and, and some sitting area. So I'm going to go ahead and get this path figured out because I'm sure I'm going to derp it up somehow and uh, I'll get back to you guys. Alright guys, it's uh, nighttime again as you can see and I completed the path and I added a little bit of light to it too. Uh, unfortunately this is kind of our best option right now. Um, I'll be able to put some glowstone in the water as soon as we go to the nether but right now I just uh, I use some cobblestone fence uh, with a torch on top. Doesn't look too bad, kind of gives it a tiki torch kind of feel. Um, yeah, we'll see if we like it or not. Uh, could always change it out with just a normal fence, a uh, wooden fence, but we'll see. Uh, and now we're going to work on just beautifying up the place a little bit. Uh, we're going to give it a nice three wide bench right here. And we're going to use the sign trick to make it look like it's got some armrest right there uh, yeah so and then hmm we want to vary this up a little bit we don't want all this all the seating to to match up with each other um, want it to look a little more hmm not planned a little bit more fluid uh, we don't want a D on that sign <laughs> that'd be a little bit silly uh, probably oh. Sounds like someone got some damage off on the villager. Oh, he might be dead, actually. Because this guy's pathing to me now. Yeah. 
Yeah. He's a zombie now. I really hope that didn't happen to anyone else. Um, uh oh. That is not good. Yeah, I think we might have lost all of our villagers. <laughs> uh, wow. That's that's pretty disheartening. Uh, I need to eat some rotten flesh here. Think about what to do next. Uh, kind of a bummer we lost all our villagers there. We're going to have one of the testificates right here. As long as he doesn't despawn. Um, hmm. Yeah, I thought that uh, this method would work as well as this one. I guess they... Glitch through the corner somehow and hit him through there. Uh, mm. Disappointing, but I don't know. We'll make do with it. Um, we can easily turn that test certificate back into a villager. No problem. Um, or we can just find other test certificates and just refill up our village. Uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem, but definitely something we did not plan for here. <laughs> just going to add one more bench. Yeah, that ah, that's that's upsetting. And we got a whole collection of flowers here. Uh, got some oxide daisies, got some poppies, got some dandelions, and we just want to throw these down and, and make the place look nice. Uh, don't want it to be too too symmetrical here. Uh, just want it to look good though. Yeah, I really like these flowers in this game. Uh, I like how they added new ones recently. I uh, definitely think that was one of the better changes they made lately. Uh, hmm. Probably don't want all these flowers in here, actually. Uh, that looks like a little bit too much. That looks a little bit better. And then we can spread some other ones out back this way. Can't place them there because of the sign, which is a little bit annoying. I was hoping I would have one more of those oxides. Uh, that's fine though. So yeah, just a little park area here. Um, just something to make the the village look a little nicer, make it feel feel a little bit more homey. Um, yeah, man, I can't believe that whole villager thing. <laughs> now we can't even have our sacrifice sacrificial uh, villager out here to keep away the zombies from us, but. I don't know. That'll happen. So yeah, we're gonna probably work on beautifying this place a little bit more. Ooh, there's a witch over there. Uh, probably just gonna stay away from him. Uh, quickly realizing that I don't have a very reliable food source here. So we might have to tend to that. Um, and I think I'm gonna do it in a little bit of a unique way. Uh, I'm going to create my own restaurant in this village and uh, it's going to serve chicken and it's going to be uh, automatic cooker in there so anytime I'm in this area it should be uh, killing the chickens and then and then cooking their meat so yep uh, I'm going to work the foundation of that building out and uh, I'll get back with you guys. So we don't have any more villagers, but we do have a creeper in our house, and uh, yeah, just uh, a solemn reminder of our old friends. Oh man, so sad. Yeah, maybe we'll keep this guy and name him. <laughs> He's our only real villager that we have left, so we'll see. Alright, I'm going to get to work. <laughs> All right, guys, we are about to hire our first employee. Uh, we're going to have a zombie work in the counter here. Uh, hopefully he doesn't just stay right back there. He should move around a little bit. Maybe we'll just confine him to this one-by-one one area. And, whoop. I saw you, guy. 
Try and sneak up on me? So, our restaurant, it's gonna have the signature orange roof on it. Um, oh, our zombie friend is burning. Don't want him to do that, particularly. Oh, he's still burning. Better throw him his hat. It's a required work attire. Uh, you should probably tuck your shirt in too, if you're gonna wanna work here. Uh, maybe put down that ladder. And, uh, yeah, maybe carry some rotten flesh instead. Oh, oh, I'll make one eventually. No, I won't. But, uh, yeah, so our, our chicken is going to be in a nice little chest right here. And uh, we're probably just going to put it. some half slabs on the top right here just so we can still open the chest. Maybe some stairs, uh, give it kind of a unique look. And then back here is going to be where all the magic happens. Oh, creeper's coming my way. And, uh, yeah. So, the reason I chose the orange roof was uh, mostly because we're in this fan of biome. But uh, most restaurants kind of have their signature signature look. Uh, you know how McDonald's looks. Cause, <coughs> excuse me. Because of the arches. And, um, yeah. So, we're going to recognize our little chicken check by the... Orange roof, and hopefully it will be great. Um, so I'm just gonna keep on making this. Uh, it shouldn't have to be too large. Um, hmm, probably just five or six wide, and that should honestly do it. Um, yeah, so we're gonna grab our smooth stone out of this chest here. Uh, unfortunately. It's going to look like kind of a plain building. Uh, can't really put in any windows because uh, the inside is going to be kind of just blah. I don't know. Not going to be anything to write home to mom about, you know. So, yeah. Don't really want people seeing the inside. Um, I am going to put a door out back though for employees only. Uh, so this guy can come to work every day. And yeah, just gonna keep placing the stone. Uh, it's gonna be, a, the building's just gonna be stone in, in this orange. Uh, I'll grab my shovel here. But yeah, the way that, um, this chicken is gonna work is we're gonna have, uh, one designated spot for chickens to lay eggs. And then we're going to transport those eggs to a dispenser, which is going to fire them out into a um, into a lava stream. But since the baby chickens are so small, they won't get burned by the lava stream until they're fully grown. And then once they grow, that's when they'll die and the chicken will be cooked. So that'll be really great. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this probably should be really all we need, size-wise. Um, let's see, that'll give us three to work with here. Yeah, that should be fine. I uh, ran out of smooth stone already, so that's good. I'm uh, just going to grab some more, throw some more in here. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're... Oh, wasted smooth stone. That's, that's a terrible thing to do. Um... <laughs> wow, that's bad. Oh, and we're out again. But yeah, so the redstone uh, tools we're going to be using, uh, we're going to need a clock in here, uh, which will probably just go over in this section, because mm, actually maybe the original chickens that lay all the eggs will go over here, and then we'll just funnel them over here where they'll be burned <laughs> but uh yeah we just need a clock uh which will be some repeaters and a uh, redstone torch and we need some hoppers and we need a dispenser and then that should be it so i'm gonna grab those things and we'll come back in a second all right so we're gonna set up the area where the chickens uh, spawn all the eggs right now uh i doubled up here just because 
Uh, Minecraft has been known to have the glitch before uh, where when you have too many entities in one place, they will uh, kind of shoot out from the block uh, in kind of a weird way. And if you double up the blocks, it really reduces on the ugly visual aspect of that where there would just be chickens just shooting out the back and shooting every which way and making our restaurant look terrible and no one will want to eat here. So yeah, that's why I doubled up here. Um, so we're just gonna, well, I might have messed it up actually. <laughs> gonna have to break that unfortunately. Uh, gonna place our hopper facing this way. Uh, we want the eggs to funnel out this way. And replace this glass. Uh, the reason we have glass here is just so we can see all the chickens that are in here. Uh, just give us more of a visual take on the whole scene. So this is pointing out this way, which is good. Gonna need another hopper facing out before we cover it up. Hopefully that placed right. Yep, sure did. So, we're just gonna fill that up now. And I'm gonna go make a chest just temporarily. Um, we wanna collect all the eggs. We don't want it to be a full running system quite yet. Uh, we wanna do some tests on it first. So, let's just make us some chests real quick. And of course the inventory is just all full and full of nonsense. And we only have one chicken egg right now, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> uh, yeah, but there, there's some more chickens nearby, so I'm not too worried about not having a uh, chicken spawn here. Uh, let's see if we can be the luckiest people in the world, though. Nope. No chicken on the first try, so got to go and find some more eggs now. Uh, the chicken were out this way. Uh, we spawned exactly uh, just behind that mountain. Uh, we got another egg here. Uh, actually, I'll just grab some seeds and I'll try and lure uh, this guy over. I don't need those two pieces of dirt. Yeah, if you don't know... Um, Chickens are attracted by seeds, so they'll follow you if you have some seeds in your hand. Just gonna eat some rotten flesh so I don't die. But yeah, so this guy should follow me all the way to his uh, his demise. <laughs> no, he won't be dying, but he will be in captivity, which is a very sad life. There's our zombie villager friend <laughs> peeking out his back window, just seeing how the uh, the life is because <laughs> he's undead now oh, poor guy poor guy yeah so I'm just gonna keep leading this chicken and yep looks like we already have a set of stairs going on so that's good and I know you want to get in here so oh. Let's see if we can just push him in uh, of course not. Let's see if he'll get attracted to the seed again. Looks like he is. Yep, come on, guy. Just drop in that hole. Yep. Oh. Yep. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Passive mobs are just the worst to work with. <laughs> Especially if you don't have any leads, uh, which I don't. Because obviously I don't have any slime balls. Because we've not come in uh, contact with either a slime chunk or a swamp yet. Uh, come on, chicken. Let's try and push him in. Oh! <laughs> oh, Lord. So I'm thinking about uh, making that pond actually a dedication to the villagers who... Uh, who once lived here before they were brutally massacred by the mean zombies and their uncooked, <laughs> uncooked, yeah, uncooked meat and their untucked shirts. Uh, those jerks, killing off all our nice villagers. Oh my God, chicken! All right, nope. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in this section. Maybe that'll help us out a little bit. Lower these torches. All right. And I lost the chicken. It looks like. Oh, there he is. Okay. Come on, guy. <laughs> If I could fall off more things, that would that would just be great. Yeah. Oh, there goes an egg. But yeah, it's uh pretty late out here. It's wow. It's it's five in the morning. <laughs> um, I'm up pretty late. Uh, I'm having some company this weekend, so I'm trying to get this recorded before they get out here, and that way I can spend some time with them and still release a video. So. Oh, chicken. <laughs> I wish you would play nice, but instead you're just a big jerk. Yeah, neither of those eggs yielded anything, so. Come on, chicken. No, don't put your head in the hopper. <laughs> Follow the seeds. Alright, see if we can't trap him a little bit. See if he'll get attracted to the seeds again, and then hopefully, wow, he's a stubborn guy. Come on, come on now. See if I get up, oh, just fall in, <laughs> please. Uh, do I have any more cobble? No, it looks like I just have smooth, yeah, just have smooth stone. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. Finally, we got him in. Uh, I didn't look like a derp for too long, I don't think. So that's good, too. So he's just going to be in there just passively spawning eggs. And we're going to collect them in the chest right here for now. Uh, eventually, we'll have the cooker over here. Um, and then it'll be outputted into a chest right there. So, hopefully that'll look great. Um, unfortunately, we're starting to run a little bit long here, and uh, I'm probably not going to be able to finish this in this episode, but we got a pretty good start on it. Uh, we need this chicken to spawn some eggs anyway, so that we can uh, get m more of a population in here. We probably want uh, maybe 25 chickens in here, just spawning eggs at all times. Uh, maybe a little bit more. We'll do some testing on that. Uh, no big deal there. Um, actually, let's build this up real quick. So that way we can take out the glass next time we need to uh, throw some eggs down in there. And yeah. Uh, so I have one more thing planned for this episode. And it relates to the solemn death of our villagers. Um, this park will now become a monument to those villagers um, who gave their life on this day <laughs> April 17th 2014 and we just we just want to create a little bit of something to, to remember that the original villagers and and their struggles <laughs> And of course the zombie wants to ruin it. He's a terrible guy. And I'm sure his pe oh, he gave us an iron ingot. I guess he's not too terrible. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> the zombie horde. They just they can't get enough of this place, I swear. There's our diligent worker holding his ladder. <laughs> I really hope that he will drop that in favor of another item if I give it to him. Um, that'd be really nice. All right. In memoriam, villagers. Uh, hmm. I feel like we should have a good adjective to describe our villagers. Uh, noble villagers. 
four seventeen twenty fourteen. Simple, sleek, elegant. It's all it really needs to be. Um, yeah. So sad that I had to come to this, but what are you gonna do? I, I told you, tuck in your shirt. Oh, and you're hitting the boss. What a guy. What a guy. Man, oh man. All right, well, we made some pretty good progress here on trying to beautify our, our little village. Uh, we made a beautiful park right here. Uh, small, but nice. And uh, we're starting on our little chicken shack over here so we can get some food on a pretty consistent basis that we don't have to cook ourselves. It'll just be constantly generating and we'll we'll flush out this build a little bit more next time. Um, not entirely sold on this smooth stone. Uh, I feel like it's just too monochromatic right now with the orange and the, the smooth stone. But I don't know. I don't want to get too cluttered up with too many colors. Uh, I kind of want to keep to somewhat of a theme. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, I got the nice little kind of drive through window going on here. Uh, yeah, just something to look a little, a little unique. But, yeah, I just wanted to say thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.